Hey guys, I'm Kyle, the producer here at the Foundry Church, here to walk you through today's devotions for this week. This comes out of Psalm chapter 118, verses 1 through 14. Let's begin. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who, hear, who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. When hard pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me, he is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. They swarmed around me like bees, but they were consumed as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them down. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my defense, is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. And this is the devotion that comes out of that today. The psalm is a song or a hymn that was sung by the Jewish people. It is likely the hymn that Jesus sang with his disciples. Every year the Jewish people would celebrate Passover, a massive celebration used to remember how God freed the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. God gave specific instructions to the Israelites that he was going to send the angel of death into Egypt. That those that put their trust in God could sacrifice a lamb and paint their doorposts with the blood. The blood above their door would symbolize that they sought protection from God. If the angel of death saw the blood, it would pass over the home. The next morning, the Egyptians finally let their slaves go. Sung for hundreds of years in remembrance of God's mighty act of deliverance, Psalm 118 also declared hopes of a new deliverer. The people were waiting for the promised Messiah, the king who would save them. In the story of the Exodus, God rescues his people from slavery. The blood of a lamb was painted over their homes, shielding them from death, and giving them the chance to step out into new life. In an even more exciting way, in an even more excellent way, Jesus saved all people from slavery to sin. When we take shelter under his blood, painted over our lives, we are also shielded from death and given a chance to step out into new life. No wonder this prophetic psalm repeats the words, his love endures forever. God has always been our rescuer. Reread the passage and ask God to speak to you through it today. What verse stands out to you? Thanks for tuning in today and be sure to tune in on Thursday for the next video.